Hey guys, welcome back to another The Walking Dead Season 2 video, and this is going to be the review on the season in Episode 5. Now, I thought it was an okay season. Going forward, it it kind of was telling me that something big is going to happen, and a lot of big things happen. One, Luke died. Which, I was amazed that that happened so early on in the season. I know it was about 40, 45 minutes through, but the season, to me, was like two hours long. And I thought she should have died in a more, a, a better way than falling into an ice lake. I mean, come on. I mean, yeah. And then, if you guys would like to know how Luke died for me is when Bonnie told me to move in to help him, I didn't. I didn't want to cause the death if if there was. I would, that was just going through my head at the time. And I tried to save Luke by bashing him out of the ice. I broke it, and then I fell in, and then he still died anyway. But, yeah. And then, obviously this. And then, like, fudge. And then when we got back to the house, Arvo was there, uh, Kenny was being shit out of him, and I don't really care about Kenny. I I mean, Arvo, crap. Because I don't like Arvo. If anything, I would have probably killed him with his friends back there. Just saying. But yeah. And Mike, Bonnie, and Arvo tried to steal our car. And then we had to go out there and say, get out me car. And it was weird. I don't know. I can forgive Mike, because Mike is sort of like a pacifist. But I'll probably never forgive Bonnie, and I hope Arvo go jumps in the lake himself. I don't know. But there were some unnecessary things in this. Some unnecessary things was Arvo still being alive. He was unnecessary. Um, and uh, the main thing that was unnecessary was that fight between Jane and Kenny. It was so unnecessary. I let Jane die, I have to say, because I don't really like Jane, and Kenny's my most favorite character, and he will always be the mo my most favorite character. And yeah, so I let Jane die, and we found the baby. I, I didn't know what, because I didn't know the other endings at first. So I was just like, okay, we found the baby, yay. And then I looked at the ending, and then either way, I probably would have said Jane to go away. You know what I mean? And then we found Wellington, and I basically just kind of, I wanted to stay with Kenny so bad that I turned down Wellington. Wellington was too low status for me, bro. I was like a high roller. I was like, bitch, please. But then, yeah. And then, yeah, and then it ended. It was really emotional. I... I well, kind of empty-handed with Jane not being there, but that was ultimately her fault, and she could have stopped it anyway. She could have said, like, he's still alive. It's like, because Kenny thought he killed Alvin. She didn't, but that's just what Kenny thought, I think. And overall, I, I rate the whole entire season a 5 out of 5. It was awesome. First one was better, in my opinion. But, you know, and... This is my conclusion. Since there are like four to five or three or something different endings, I think if if they ever do make a Walking Dead season three, it will not have Clementine. And for some reason, I think it might be AJ or a whole entire different character. For some reason, there was that one guy in Telltale, uh, Telltale Games like The Walking Dead, Crap, I just said the title. But their D DLC that they had, downloadable content, I think that there was another guy, I think his name was like Rusher or something. I think he's going to, it's going to focus on him. That's just what I think. Or maybe Krista, I don't even know. But that's just my opinion on what's going to happen. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, no, slap that like button, maybe that, subscribe, maybe that. Go leave a comment saying chicken nuggets are awesome. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.